This is Rich Fultz, the Associate Director with the Illinois Association of School Administrators, and we're in Gurney, Illinois, and we're at the Gurney Elementary School, Viking School, and this is a math classroom where uh, the students are using iPads and they're being grouped, and this is the superintendent what we're looking at right there who is talking to a teacher. And this is the principal of Viking School, so uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us what this class is doing. Hi, I'm Pat Jones. This is a self-directed sixth grade math classroom. Uh, the teachers create videos, and then the students access, the, access those videos on the teacher's website. They listen to the lesson, and they work through it at their own pace. Um, then when they feel that they're at a level where they want to be um, assess and do a show me, which is what the teacher calls it. Then they work with the teacher to make sure that they're proficient at an 80% or higher level. If they're not proficient at 80% or higher level, then they'll go back and uh, work on some other lessons that are available for them. Okay, this would be a type of flipped classroom then. Uh, so do the traditional flipped classroom is students do the work at home and as far as the lecture is concerned and then uh, come to school where the teacher works on them individually. Is that similar to the way this class is set up or is this more everything's done in, in the class? No, it, they're, they're working at home. They're definitely working at home too. So I would say it's, it's more to the flipped. Uh, okay, well, what about the access that students have at home? Um, all the students have internet access. The ones who don't, the teacher has created iBooks for them so they can have access to it. They can, they can put it on their iPad, take it home with them. And uh, so those are those are created pretty readily as well for the, for those three or four students that we have that don't have Wi-Fi.